Are you thinking of starting an online business in Pakistan or just upscaling uh, your existing business? Well, finding investors can be a game changer for your business. So how do you find investors? How do you attract the right investors? In this video, we are going to be discussing right about that. So stay tuned and let's begin. So how do you find investors? How do you find the right, not just investors, but the right investors. The first thing you want to understand is the types of investors that you can approach in Pakistan. And the first type of investors, we have angel investors. And these are people that provide financial backing in exchange for equity or convertible debt. So platforms like Angel Match and Angel Investment Network can connect you with angel investors. In Pakistan. The second type of uh, investors we have venture capitalists or VCs and they, these firms invest in startups for equity. Notable VC funds in Pakistan include investment to investment ventures, TPL e-ventures and Acumen fund. The third type of investor is government funding. So besides private investors we have government funds and support which are available in Pakistan. You have uh, consulting firms and chambers for commerce which can help you access these uh, opportunities. So what do investors look for in Pakistan? So the first thing that an, an investor will look for is a revenue generating potential. Does your business have a potential for generating revenue? The second investors look for is innovative solutions with rapid growth potential. And the third thing is a clear understanding of market needs and the ability to meet them. So if you have all of these three, make sure that you are definitely going to secure the right investors into your online business in Pakistan. So let's look at ways of crafting a compelling business proposal to present to your um, noted um, investors. So the first thing you want your business proposal to be very strong and also you want it to uh, pitch uh, your business. So the key elements in a proposal, in a business proposal should include number one, market analysis and growth potential. So prove you understand the market and its trends and definitely you're going to catch yourself good investors. The second thing that you want to include is unique selling proposition. That means you highlight what makes your business special, what makes your business unique. Then the third thing you want to include in the business proposal is financial projections and ROIs. So in this case, you're providing detailed financial forecasts and show how investors will benefit. So if they know that they are going to benefit and they can see it according to your uh, data and analytics, then definitely they are going to feel con confident investing with you. The fourth thing to include in your business proposal is team expertise and experience. You want to showcase your team's skills and achievements. If you have a strong team, you if you have a competent team, then definitely investors are going to trust their money with you. So after that, you want to also look at networking and building relationships. So building strong relationships within the investment community is very essential. Attend industry events, seminars, and use online platforms like LinkedIn to network. So with this, you're definitely going to get uh, genuine relationships and genuine relationships definitely come with potential investors. That is what we're looking for. The other thing you want to know how to navigate the legal and regulatory considerations. So uh, in Pakistan, uh, definitely we have a legal landscape just like any other jurisdiction. So in this case, you have to seek for legal advice to ensure that you're compliant and you protect the interests of your investors as well as your own uh, business interests. 
So proper legal documentation and contracts are essential for protecting everyone's rights in an investment deal. Before you sign any, any deal, uh, make sure that you have legal documents that you are going to be signing as an agreement to make sure that everything is well documented. Then from there, you want to pitch your business. What do you do when you're pitching your business? The first thing to do is keep your pitch concise. Uh, you can do it um, ideally for under 10 minutes. That would be enough for you to get across everything that you need to say about your business. So number two, tell a compelling story about your business. You want to convince your investors, the potential investors, so you have to tell them something that is you know, believable. Number three, highlight your unique value proposition. So you don't want to just go and you know talk about the basics. You want to make sure these people actually see value in you. So in that case, showcase that uniqueness that you have as a business. Then number four, you show your passion and commitment. If these people see that you're actually committed to that business, they know that it's not going to fail and they are going to be um, interested in investing with you. Then the last is be prepared to answer questions and address investor concerns. So definitely within the 10, 10 minutes you're pitching yourself, these people are going to want to, you know, ask some questions and maybe seek for some clarifications or even raise some concerns. So be prepared to handle all of this in the shortest time possible. And so that you also can come out clear and precise. The other thing you want to do is now the securing of funding and negotiating term. Once someone has already uh, shown interest in investing in you, how do you go about securing the funding and negotiating the terms of the investment deal? So when you're reviewing your investment offers, number one, understand the terms clearly. Make sure that every single term that is stated, you understand it clearly so that in the future you do not have disagreements or any uh, miscommunication. The second thing you want to ensure alignment with your business goal. So you want to make sure that this investment deal aligns with what you want. And that is now after you've read the terms, there is there any terms that do not actually align with your business goals. If there is, now that is an issue to note and maybe go back to your investor and discuss it. Number three, you want to compare multiple offers. You don't want to just look at one investment deal. Make sure that you have several in line and you compare you. Of course, you choose the best one for your business because you want the best for your business. Then the last is seeking professional advice. Sometimes you might not understand some of these um, um, terms or you might not understand some of the uh, legal jargon. So in this case, it's good to seek professional advice they're also going to offer you uh, an updated and more polished information and guidance in terms of your investment uh, offers so how do you close the deal after you've done all that how do you close the deal you've analyzed everything and you feel like now this is it i've chosen this investment deal and i want to close it so the first thing is you review the legal documentation carefully. You make sure that everything is well compliant and everyone is well protected. Then you seek clarity on any terms you do not understand. You have said you can seek for professional advice or you can go back to your investor and ask them if there is any term that you do not understand. Then uh, you can also negotiate final details. For example, if there's something you're not so comfortable with, or you're not uh, satisfied or does not go with you, you can try to negotiate and make a better deal that is more comfortable for you and also for the investor. And then the last thing to do is to sign the agreement with confidence. Since you've done all your due diligence, it's now time to sign your agreement with confidence that you've actually done something positive for your business. And then sit back and watch your business grow. Definitely do not sit back, you have work to do. So um, these all are ways or strategies that you can easily secure um, investment opportunity in Pakistan for your online business. And 
making sure that you follow these principles and you're being honest and patient, you can definitely set, set yourself up for long-term success. So thank you for watching and good luck on your journey finding investors for your online business in Pakistan. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe for more insights and tips.